Hi, I'm Joe, and this video is going to cover the merge sort. Given an array of items, merge sort will sort them in ascending order. In this video, we're just going to use integers. So let's say we wanted to sort a small list of four integers, two, four, three, one. One way to sort them would be to break the list in half into two smaller lists, sort those two smaller lists. Now two, four is already sorted. 3, 1, we have to swap places. Now we have two smaller lists that are in sorted order. And then merge those two smaller lists back together. So to do that, we could compare the first two items, since we know those are the two smallest items. The leftmost item is the smallest item in each list, right? So we compare 2 to 1. 1 is smaller, so we'll add 1 back to the main list first. And then we compare 2 to 3. 2 is the smaller, so we add 2 to the main list. We compare 3 to 4, 3 is the smaller item, so we add 3 to the main list. And then we're done with the right list, and all we have left is the left list. There's a 4 left, so we add that to the main list. Now we have a sorted list of 4 items. That, in a nutshell, is how merge sort works. I'm going to walk through a more detailed example with 8 items in the list. So we'll number the items from 0 to 7. We'll start by splitting the list in half. So we'll have a left list and a right list, each with four items. And then we're going to take those two sublists and cut each of those in half into two smaller lists. Now we have four lists with two items each, all in unsorted order. Now we're going to break the list down one more step into eight lists with one item in each list. I know it sounds silly, but one item in each list. So since there's only one item in each list, we know that each list is sorted, right? If you have a list that only contains 17, then the 17 is in sorted order. So now we have eight lists that are in sorted order. Now we just need to merge them back together into one eight item list. That's where the magic comes in for merge sort. So we'll start by um, setting up four lists with two items each, and we'll merge adjacent items. So 17 and 87, we're going to compare. The 17 is smaller, so we'll add that first, and then the 87. So now we've merged lists 0 and 1. We're going to go to the next two items, 6 and 22. So 6 is smaller, we'll add that first, and then 22. We'll jump to the next two items. 3 is smaller. We'll add that first. And then the 41. And we'll jump to the last two lists, 13 and 54. 13 is smaller, and then 54. So now we've merged these bottom eight lists with one item each into four lists with two items each. So that's the first stage of the merge sort. So we're going to move those down to the bottom and we're going to merge these four lists of two items each into two lists of four items each. So we'll start with these four items on the bottom, 17, 87, 6, and 22. So we have basically two lists of two items that are in sorted order. That's what we start with. And we're going to move those into one list of four items in sorted order. So we'll compare 6 to 17. The 6 is smaller, so we'll place that up, move our pointer over to the 22. We'll compare 17 to 22. The 17 is smaller, so we'll move that up and move the pointer over to the 87. Now we compare 22 to 87. 22 is smaller. And now we don't need a pointer over here anymore, so we can just copy up the rest of the items on the leftmost list. And there's only one, so it's 87. So now we have the left list on the top is now in sorted order. Now we're going to sort these two and move them into the top list. So we'll first compare 3 to 13. The 3 is smaller. We move that pointer over to the 41. We compare 41 to 13. 13 is smaller. We move that pointer over. Now we're going to compare 41 to 54. 41 is smaller. And we're done with that list, so we can just copy up the rest of the items in the right list. Now we have 
two lists with four items each that are in sorted order. We've got one more merge step to combine these into one list of eight items. So we'll start with the leftmost item, compare six to three, we get to three is smaller, we move that pointer over, we compare six to thirteen, the six is smaller, we compare seventeen to thirteen, thirteen is smaller, we compare seventeen to forty-one, the seventeen is smaller, twenty-two to forty-one, the twenty-two is smaller, eighty-seven to forty-one, the forty-one is smaller, eighty-seven to fifty-four, the 54 is smaller, and then we move the 87 up. Now we're done. So that is how the merge sort works. Now we have one list of eight sorted items. So to write a method in Java to do merge sort, we can call our method merge sort. We can accept an, uh, an unsorted list of integers, and we need a low index and a high index to track the range of values that we're going to sort. So if the low index is equal to the high index, in other words there's only one item in the list, then we'll just return. That's our base case. And so in all recursive methods you always need a base case like that. And if it's not, that means there's more than one item in the list, then first we'll calculate the middle index by adding the low index and the high index dividing by two. So that's the middle index. Then we'll call merge sort on the bottom half, which is the, sending the same list along with the low index and the mid index that we just calculated. And then we'll call merge sort on the top half, or the right half, sending mid index plus one, using that as the low index, and high index as the upper index. So this sends the right half, this sends the left half to merge sort. And then after those two lists are sorted, we do the merge step. And I didn't write the separate merge function, but you need a helper function that does the merge. Uh, so this will call the merge and merge those two sorted lists together. So merge sort is a recursive method. That means it's a method that calls itself, as I just showed you in the previous slide. It's also known as a divide and conquer algorithm because it breaks the problem down into a smaller set. In the, in the case of merge sort, it breaks it in half. Uh, it takes half of the problem and sorts that. And it's very efficient for large data sets, not necessarily so for smaller data sets. It's, but for larger data sets, it's a very efficient sorting method. Merge sort does log in merge steps because each merge step doubles the list size. And here in is obviously the number of items in the list. In the example we looked at where there were eight items in the list, log base two of eight is three, right? So we started with uh, one item per list and we got to two items per list and then four and then eight. So it's three merge steps. It does in work for each merge step because it must look at every single item that you're trying to sort for each merge step. So it runs in big O of in log n time, right? Because you do in work per merge step and you do log n merge steps. So it runs quite a bit faster than most other sorting algorithms. That concludes our video on merge sort. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching. <laughs>